Edgar is one of the best friends um, that I've had ever had the privilege of um, having in my life. Um, his memory will live on. There's nobody that dissected and connected the things of God with the love of God for his people like Edgar did. Um, when I first met him, he we met at a prayer circle and I, I just saw, um, he called it noodle legs. He was looking around and telling all of us like how we were we were grounded in the word of God and how he feels like he was he was very much ill equipped but I saw him grow, I saw him mature, I saw him just become the man of God that um, I remember him to be um, one of the most found memories that I have of him um, is us just spending hours of hours of him talking about um, what it means to be the body of Christ. And he would just go into the details of atoms and cells. And he had this um, intriguing desire to learn. And he, he just connected how the Lord like really allows us to um, take part in this wonderful creation. Take part in, in being, being in awe. And Edgar definitely had that awe in every area of his life, whether it's relationship, whether it's whether it's um, him being in school or being in discipleship. Um, his words always breathed hope. His his character always came with such humor that it made everybody laugh, and um, uh, he would always encourage people. Um, especially uh, in my my process of growth, I know he spoke a lot of life in me in my process of becoming a leader. He would always tell me how um, how much I'm teaching him, how much um, how much he looks up to me, and I just look at him and I tell him it was it was him that was helping me process through all that. It was him that helped me become who I am today. Um, taught me so much. There is there is no one that I've I've felt so safe with um, than Edgar. Um, I knew he would he would protect, he would um, advise, he would um, bring me back to the love of God and why we have what we have. Impacting it's like for me it's like I'm coming into this and I'm like I see like here us and this group and churches and all around the world there is a fire going of love like there is and the biggest thing I see at least for us nearby is lifestyle Christianity with Dan Moeller and Todd White and just not just them but like people like initiating love all over in Christianity I love so many things about Edgar um, one of the things that I think the majority of us loved about him was his sense of humor. He always made us laugh. He always had something funny to say. He was always speaking in another accent. Um, and he won people's hearts over. Um, his heart was so full of love. And he was always loving on people, always looking out for everyone, making sure that everyone was included. He always showed up at every event he was there. He was just a big supporter, had a big heart. And he taught me so much. He taught me um, to be a lifelong learner. He was always wanting to learn. He always was listening. Um, had just the ears to, to hear what other people had to say. Um, and although he had some of his own struggles, he never let those get in the way of um, enjoying time with his friends. And so there's so many things I admire about him and I love about him. And we never mention Francesca. That, that just, we don't, we don't talk about that. So, but hey Edgar, I love you. You will be missed and we will see you very soon. Like, because he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, he, he knew us. Like, Jeremiah says, he knew us before the womb, in our mother's womb. Before the foundations of the world, he knew us. And so he made us, and he, he called us, and he, he's called us to be his, his children. He's called us to be in his kingdom. He's called us uh, to be bold and, and to, like, to be stirred up and to be ready and to go and build the kingdom. 
which is great and everything. But even that song, he sings about us. He doesn't just sing it about us today. He sang it about us before the foundations of the world. Because, and I was like, I, I'm not really sure on that. But then, at the beginning of the song, but then towards the end, he was, I, he was, it's like, I do sing it about you because I am calling you my good and faithful servant. And I was like, whoa. But, so he's like, he, he, how does it go again? Like, as you have been, as you have been, as you have, as, so that's about him, but he, he was singing it about us. He had such a great big heart for people, but especially for his family. He could constantly talked about his family, and his heart was always um, for, for the kingdom of God to just manifest in his family. He would always share that with us. Um, so who Edgar was to me was honestly the funniest man I've ever met. I, I, I've met a lot of comedians in my life, amateur and professionals in life, and he was genuinely joyful, like from the spirit out. Everything about him was just hilarious. Like everything he would say to you would just make you smile. Like his presence, he didn't even have to speak. He would just walk up to you and just say hello or thank you or whatever the case may be. And in, 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 in any mannerism he so choose would just cause you to just over abundantly have joy. And uh, that light could shine in any given moment. And in any room he walked in, joy would just overflow. And um, I remember us having this memory just going to churches. It was all about church because that's anytime you ever saw that he was in church. And uh, we were at a church event, and we were going around the city evangelizing to people, but it wasn't really evangelizing. We, it was just me, my wife, and, and, and Edgar, and we would just be walking down the street just cracking jokes, just making funny. And, and that day, it, we spent like eight hours doing this while everybody else was evangelizing to people. It was just the three of us, and we were just bonding with amazing jokes, amazing time. And we ended up traveling through the city to a point where we were at a cafe. And at this cafe, we had, there was Uno. And we had Baba and stuff like that. And we had Uno. And we were the three loudest people in that coffee shop. Like, everybody's eyes was on Edgar and us, you know. Just, just cracking jokes, making his, you know, Vietnamese mom uh, voices and the Russian voices and all those little voices he would, you know, professionally do. And, and playing Uno. And that was honestly one of my best days. It was with Edgar. I will miss him so much. Uh, that joy that he brought uh, to the room was special. It was so special. Excuse me. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 hey, don't be swearing. <laughs> I'm trying to renew my mind over here. Today's the first day that I'm like effectively walking in love. Oh my God. <laughs> and the F word was about to come out? Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. God for mercy and grace. <laughs> and I'm late. I think you need a little bit more renewal. Start trying to read the book in Tuviera que decir unas palabras sobre Edgar No, pues es duro encontrar dónde empezar, pero 
creo que una de las cosas que uh, yo pensaría en describirlo sería que es un, un amigo muy leal, uh, un amigo muy fiel en, en la forma en que lo único que lo, lo que sea que uno necesitaba, él estaba ahí. Uh, a, a cualquier tiempo um, e incluso uno, una de mis favoritas memorias es que um, una vez necesitaba um, un suéter y uh, de casualidad él tenía una segunda suéter y una chamarra y él, él me la dio porque la necesitaba y, y eso creo que es uno de los momentos en que Um, que yo puedo usar para describir que él era ese tipo de amigo en, en lo, que, lo que uno necesitaba. Um, muy inteligente, muy estudioso, uh, muy curioso también. Um, siempre le gustaba ir a, a diferentes tiendas que, que vendían libros para buscar diferentes materiales, para buscar diferente información y él, uh, sea en cosas de, de enfermería o, o de los estudios con uh, negocios o en, en, específicamente en la palabra de Dios, él estaba, él siempre buscaba libros o cosas que, que él podía estudiar para aprender más, um, es algo que él le gustaba hacer y era muy inteligente, siempre tenía preguntas o tenía preguntas muy profundas. Um, y, y incluso él le gustaba estudiar la palabra y, y leer entre las líneas y, y siempre um, pensar en, en mu muchas cosas sobre la palabra de Dios. Um, siempre tenía un, un, un chiste, algo que él podría compartir o, o nomás diferentes uh, voces que hacía que era, eran muy chistosas, pero él cargaba con, con él una alegría que, que um, sí, un, un, una alegría que um, es, nomás era, era su personaje, que él nomás podría entrar en un cuarto y él nomás traía alegría a mí, a nuestras amistades o cualquier otra persona uh, muy positivo y, y, y muy trabajador, um, siempre buscando cosas que hacer para ayudar um, en la iglesia y también sé que um, en su trabajo en otras cosas voluntarias él ponía su tiempo en eso. Um, es, uh, ha, ha sido una bendición um, conocerlo a Edgar y lo vamos a extrañar mucho. So I hope she had the best number one happy birthday. Edgar was the type of person that would get on your nerves, <laughs> but for the right reasons. He would make sure that everything you said was what you meant. And if you meant it, then it better line up with the word of God. <laughs> There was no um, cutting corners with him. <laughs> And at the best time too, he would be sure to hear everything that she had to say. He truly was a great friend because he knew how to listen and he understood, even though he wasn't even there, he understood an issue that you could have had or someone else had and he would never be biased. He was that person who practiced not being, um, you know, judgmental or biased against anybody. He would always be the one to make sure he heard both sides, listen to what God had to say and read the word of God and come back and give wisdom. But the best part is he did that in split seconds. He was already doing it as you were talking to him. So he was just getting, he would always have something to say. And the best part is because it was the truth, he had such a grace when he said it. Um, 
He was always that person that would build you up without putting you down. He was always that person who would take time to dig deeper, dig deeper, dig deeper, and never let things go as they were because he cared that much. Um, Edgar was, he was such a great person to talk to when you needed to hear the perspective of God and you needed to hear the perspective of what kingdom culture is. And he embodied that too. He was everywhere. Um, and then he also just felt like he was right there all the time with you. Um, he would never hesitate to have talks until four in the morning with anybody. And he never hesitated to talk about how to help other people. Edgar was a true friend. My favorite memory with Edgar is after my birthday. It was one, two in the morning, and he would not stop with his accent. <laughs> he knew that uh, how to push my buttons but at the same time. He brought so much joy, and he was so happy just like making other people laugh. And then at the same time, he wouldn't stop. He would just know how to keep you me rolling. And I just remember at my birthday, we were all so tired it's two in the morning we're like falling asleep eating ice cream and cake and he just had so much energy still he was the type of person that knew how to uh work hard but also play really hard and joke really hard um and <laughs> it's priceless it's priceless to me i believe i can fly oh my god we are gonna fly i believe i can touch the sky las cosas favoritas de Edgar que nunca me voy a olvidar es que él siempre estaba dispuesto para ir a juntarse a comer, a ir al cine, ir a la iglesia, ir a diferentes reuniones. Edgar siempre estaba disponible y listo para cualquier aventura y él le gustaba mucho ir a muchos lugares y conocer a muchas diferentes tipos de personas, no importando la edad, no importando la raza, Edgar tenía amigos en todos los lugares, en todos los lugares Edgar estaba con diferentes personas siempre gozándose y algo que nunca me voy a olvidar de Edgar es los acentos que él hacía, me agarró dos veces, me hizo trampa, me llamó haciendo el acento de otro amigo y yo me quedé hablando en el teléfono como por unos tres o cuatro minutos hasta que él se reía porque ya no aguantaba porque yo estaba pensando que estaba hablando con la otra persona porque así estaban de buenos los acentos de Edgar y nunca me voy a olvidar y me agarró dos veces y las dos veces me sentí bien 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 tonta pero pero me hizo reír mucho y, y nunca me voy a olvidar esas cosas de Edgar, de Edgar él siempre para los cumpleaños siempre compraba regalos y siempre estaba con esa sonrisa tan grande esas pestañas largas y cejas muy muy guapo el muchacho y siempre con esa sonrisa y con esa carisma donde quiera que él iba él tenía amigos y él era él era aceptado y amado por todos y y lo voy a extrañar mucho, pero sé que lo voy a ver otra vez. Y yo sé que cuando lo vea otra vez, van a ver muchas risas y muchos chistes y mucho party porque a Edgar le gustaba la fiesta. A veces calladito, pero se veía que a veces sí le gustaba mucho la fiesta y siempre estaba disponible para un buen tiempo y, y lo extraño. Y estoy viendo al futuro para verlo otra vez en el cielo con Dios. Okay, Edgar, he's a man of God, and um, I remember, I think it was about this time last year, I wasn't feeling too good, 
just kind of down and out. And um, I decided to call Edgar, I think. But somehow he and I were on the phone. And Edgar, being the man of God that he is, just started preaching to me. Just started preaching to me about the word and about the Pastor Dan Moeller. Um, just on the faithfulness of God and and who God is and how, how we should not focus upon ourselves and how we should focus upon God and, and, and love God and love people, you know. And um, it was very encouraging to me to, to speak with Edgar. It was actually 4th of July. We were going to meet up and, and go uh, spread the gospel of Jesus, which, which was awesome. It got too crowded. We didn't get to do that, but I definitely remember that time, which was uh, a blessing. Uh, Edgar was encouraging to me, lifted me up, man. Edgar era un gran amigo y hermanito en Cristo Jesús. Era un motivador y un ejemplo a seguir. Él era amable, cariñoso, dulce, lleno de felicidad, siempre dando su sonrisa completa. Edgar, como tú me decías, gracias por tu amor, tu amistad, tu sonrisa y alegría. Gracias por haber sido como tú eras, un gran hombre. Fuiste amado y seguirás siendo amado. Siempre apreciaré los momentos juntos. Te extrañaré. Sad to see you go, but I know um, one thing that you meant to me though, man, was that you're able to light up the room even when we're all depressed or not feeling right about ourselves or whatnot. You're always able to put a smile on people's faces and just joke around and just lighten up the mood, man. That's something I always cherish about you. Um, you know, one of my favorite memories of you is when we were carpooling together. He was on my way to my birthday or Christina's birthday, but I remember we just had some random conversation in the uh, our accents. You were like a Russian, I was a Scotsman. I think Ivan was an Indian guy too. That was pretty awesome. But you know, in light of that though, man, I just want to say, oh yeah, girl, I'm sorry to see you go. But I know you're in a better place right now and one day I'll see you again. Until then, keep me keep me in prayer and and always and just save a seat at the heavenly table for me. That way when I get there we'll have a grand time. Rest in peace, brother. I have of Edgar um, is really funny that I think of often when um, when he came to visit my school it was it's a very peaceful looking school and we would sit around and um, and he was just like absorbing it all in and I remember him saying wow this is like heaven like look at all these trees and you're learning and I jokingly because I don't really like school said there is no homework in, in heaven, but because of his, his, his desire to learn, his passion to learn, he was like, no, in heaven there is, there is learning, because that's, that's from God, that's from God, and um, he said, but there's not, there's no deadlines, there's only lifelines, 
um, that was just hilarious. He would always twist things around and just make people's days. Um, I will always remember the good memories that, and I will always miss who he is. I will always miss um, his laugh and his his contagious dad jokes that he brings to the table every single time and his hilarious accents. He will always be in my heart. I will never forget him and his memory will live on. Yeah, just come for the food, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know your neighbors?